in the top left-hand corner. Many counted him out, but he can show that no matter who he's against, he can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But can he win this series? It's Team Star Tails back! And his opponent spawning down in the bottom left-hand corner. He is the most successful American player of all time. <laughs> From CM Storm, it is Paul! I swear it's Paul. <laughs> Already we're seeing something sneaky get planned. Why would you do an 11? Wow. That looks like a 10 scout in the mid map. Oh my, is it? Is it gonna be a scout? Or is, is it, it gonna be a oh, barracks? Oh. oh baby! Uh oh. A little bit of queso today. And then another barracks gonna be applied. No. This is kind of. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. It's a CC first. Pult, does he know? Is his game sense strong enough? This is a map that we have seen bar none. The number one map where we see Command Center first, Nexus first. Oh, Everything. No, oh Pult. no, Pult. Pult, he's going to have to have a miracle up his sleeve if he wants to defend this. There's the Command Center going down. So a barracks will finish, and at the same time, Pult will start his barracks. That's 65 seconds that he has to wait until he makes the first Marine, and then he has to wait another 25 seconds after that. This is going to be such a delayed defense. It will be incredibly hard to stop, and especially if he doesn't oh, make a God. bunker. But who makes a bunker in TVT these days? I mean, if Pult, he is going to play it safe. He's going to go double barracks himself. Okay, okay. Some come. people like to do double refinery after this, so that helps out. Wow, Hack, what a ballsy play in game three. Everything oh, wait, on the line. Is he going for... He might be going for a cross-map scout. He's going the cross-map scout, it looks like. He's doing it. He will see the bear. He's going to spot it. And, and there it is. Everything is now on the line. It's going to have to be a bunker on the high ground. And it's going to have to go down mighty quick. I don't think that this is going to be a good time for Pult oh, to leave that gosh. expansion on the low ground. Pult is going to have to abandon ship. He's going to have to dedicate everything he can to holding the front. He needs to lift and get out of town now. He needs SEVs to repair this bunker as well, but they're approaching oh, so hack. fast. Now he's gonna take out, he's in time to kill the SCV making the bunker. He's gonna get it, pull back until his bunker finishes for himself. Holt is sending everything he has. He's gonna have to rely on just mules in this position. His barracks is almost his done. Can he get it done? There it is. He gets it. He needs to get the repair. And the SCVs are in place to repair, but hack. Swoops around the corner, will be able to get into great position, but the two barracks are making a lot of Marines. It will be in time for this bunker to finish. Can Hack have the micro, though? Oh, it looks like oh. Pult extended a bit far forward. Great pull from Pult. Executes the SCVs one Every at a time. SCV's dying. Pult is getting oh, the no. edge. Did he do it? It's three to seven. And he did it. What a defense from CM Storm's Pult. But the damage. The damage has been done already. The damage has been done. Orbital and Command is done. It is seven SCVs to three. The crowd is going nuts. Their support for Pult couldn't be larger, but he is not out of the thick of things yet, is he, Andre? No, he is not. I mean, he is down in Harvesters, but that extra Command Center is gonna come into play so well. As soon as he throws down his mule, you're gonna see that income just rise up so much higher than his opponent. How does Pult do this? How does he continuously defend well, when he's I on the ropes. I guess I was only half lying when I said that there was this was no doubt going to be an epic macro <laughs> game. It's going to start a little weird, <laughs> but soon enough, Pult will be able to catch back up. This is anyone's game. We see the supply counts are 16 to 15 at this early stage in the game. Pult recently got more workers than he began the game with. Still, this is a position for a hack that it, it's salvageable, right? He is behind slightly, but he's getting a second command center. I wouldn't yes. be surprised if he got his third command center next. Uh, actually, it just shows me that he is because he hasn't gotten any gases. So normally you're going to transition yeah. into that extra command center. From there, he's able to kind of seesaw his way back in the SEV count. So he'll be in a good position as well. Pult, just going to play it standard, it looks like. Is he taking his third? No, he's not taking wow. any refined. Whoa. This is 
Hack is not ashamed of who he is. <laughs> Opens up with two barracks in the middle, and he's like, well, I may as well cheese five more times in this game. <laughs> Fourth base here. Let's do it. Uh, wow. This, wait, is, wait, wait, wait. this is very What is out on the map that's red? What is this? Oh, my God. No way. What what a maneuver by Polt. This will give him a decisive lead oh in this my match. Goodness. Oh no. Oh Hello. no. And it goes down. Polt with the star sense coursing through his blood. He knows exactly what is up. No cheese can bring him down. Third command center getting rebuilt. Oh hack! If only he had built this in his main to begin with. So unfortunate. That was just a scouting marine to see what was going on, but instead it turned into to be the biggest scout of his life. Good job, Marine. That is, a, that is another Billy. Medal of Honor goes to this guy who just saw interesting things. Hack going to begin the patrol at the front. Now Hack knows that he's on the ropes. Instant factory from Pult. A great maneuver. He knows his opponent is likely low on gas. So a great exploit is not going to be huge armies for Polt. It's going to be huge maneuverability. It's medevacs that can exploit this position. Hack is going to have to stay hold up in his base, is getting a late factory of his own, a late stim of his own, add-ons only just now going down. Polt, though, playing very cautiously, hasn't even canceled the bunker on his high ground. I agree with this. I mean, he doesn't really know where he is. He knows he's slightly ahead, or at least he feels slightly ahead, but... It, he doesn't really know if it was a macro all-in or, or, or just a low count of SEV all-in, so he's just playing it super, super safe to make sure his bases are covered. Remember, this is the first match of the day. He doesn't want to start off bad. Yeah, I mean, this, what an incredible series thus far. Supply counts relatively even. We see that really the counts of all things are well within norms. Little bit of extra workerage for Pult. Little bit of extra army as well. But certainly nothing insurmountable for Hack. We've seen display some real tactical brilliance. The third command center is quite late for Polt in this position. Polt, oh my god, is not actually going for a big medevac play. He's going for a little bit of medevacs and tanks. He wants to do a big push at the front. Makes a lot of sense. Just trying to claim more position. That way he can get his third a little bit safer. Although he still hasn't thrown down a third command center. And this is what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, Pult is that type of player that doesn't like to change. He makes sure he gets his three barracks first, gets his one factory production, gets his starport, and then after upgrades, he gets his command center. He makes sure he's just covering bases so he has the material to defend his third expansion. Gosh, you know, I, I will say, a lot of Terran versus Terrans kind of follow a regular path. Something that, you know, my, my, my body has physiologically become used to. I know when the adrenaline is <laughs> supposed to happen, but these are the games that just make my heart pound start to finish. This medevac drop moving oh, in gosh. could be potentially tremendous for Polt to cement his lead. Could also backfire quite strong. Oh. He's going to run into a Viking. Very safe play. He doesn't know if it's just a Viking behind there or if it's like... 10 Marines or zero Marines, but if it is 10 Marines, he doesn't want to risk it and just lose his advantage here. You know, so much of StarCraft II is about calculation. How do I guarantee faster upgrades, more yeah. Marines, by re-optimizing my economy? You can't do those calculations anymore. This is not your build order that you're following through to get the lead. This is your judgment. And we've seen time and time again, no Terran has better judgment than Pulp. That's right. I mean when he's behind he's still ahead in mid and late game now that he's ahead we don't even know what he's going to do with this and look he's doing something very uncharacteristic going up an additional two barracks still no third command center he's looking to just drill baby drill i mean this is one of these scary spots where it's like does Polt actually know he has this big of a supply lead yeah. i mean Polt might even be perceiving himself as behind and having to just do it all on this one attack yeah but this is going to be an, a really potent attack nonetheless. We see that the Marine count lead is with Pult. The tank count lead is with Pult. The medevac lead. Everything is in Pult's favor except for workers. He is going to do the same thing that Hack did in the prior game. He is going to try to end it uh -oh. in one fell swoop. We'll see if this works. Now two big uh, shots off of uh, the siege tanks can do a lot here. There's the scans, preemptive scans, just to see if he can get any pot shots right now. And I like the Vikings still patrolling around. Third base will be taken finally for Pult. You're just establishing position. This is a great way to just suffocate your opponent and make it so 
uh, uncomfortable for him to move out into the map mm -hmm. in fear of some sort of medevac drop. Both these players are doing beautiful positioning for exactly yeah. that sort of thing. I mean, the medevac drops, as you said, super potent, super threatening in these fragile early game situations. I mean, Polt is only just now getting one missile turret. That's not going to stop any drop from landing in his expansion. But with all these scans, ooh, hack, narrowly missing Polt's army. I love that. I mean, a lot of Terran vs. Terran these days, you stop getting mules at a certain point once you've done, uh, done all your production buildings. And then from there, you're just looking to see exactly where your opponent's army is because one bad positioning can mean the entire game. You cannot afford to be out of position in this matchup. Wow, Hack trying to scoop up all vision that he can. He's got to be very careful. Uh -oh. This is Pult, a bit scary. no doubt, is going to see this. And now, he's like, whoa, oh, army no. chasing me with tanks. Don't want. But this is a terrible position for Polt. What do you do with these units now? You've perceived yourself as behind. You tried to contain. You tried to push. It didn't fall through. And now you know that there's medevacs on the map. This is going to retreat the aggression even more. I mean, Polt is not really containing anything here. Any counter drop, any counter attack that's outside of his vision ends the game immediately. Yeah, and for this... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, well. Oh, well. Polt. Okay, he takes out a sensor tower that, well, not really takes it out, but now swings into the main base. The oh, upgrades are left nothing. undefended. Oh, this could be a huge game winner. An attack at the natural, killing one of the siege tanks. And what are the, the, the oh, units in the no. middle of that doing? Desperation repairs from Pult, which is going to make every one of those SCVs oh, mince goodness to gracious. Drop. This is the last thing Pult wanted. Pult falls behind in supply. He is oh, behind. Oh! oh. He saves it! How did that happen? Still killing a lot of SCVs, swinging into the third base, and doing more damage still at the natural! All the units of Pult are not out uh, oh. to defend! Pult, oh, no. Pult having a complete meltdown after the amazing early game defense. Hack showing tactical brilliance, ripping down the SCV lines. 53 workers killed for Hack. And look at the positioning of all Hack's units. He's doing this in a shroud. Pult has no clue that all the units are barreling down into the natural base. Now finally the third base is going to be taken out oh, here. No, but the siege Pult. tanks! Oh gosh, the siege tanks from Pult are all going to be taken out. Marines just going directly oh, into... Hack has pulled an amazing game and gets G -G. the GG.